Good evening. I am quite excited about today's dish. It is a pesto made with Mediterranean vegetables, aubergines and courgette, and they are some of my favorite. I will guarantee you that by the end of this video you will want to try because it is absolutely delicious. One of my favorites. But let's make a start. I'll deal with the aubergine first and I'll remove the little fluffy head. And I'm cutting it into slices uh, approximately one centimeter in thickness each slice. As they are without any oil or any salt, I'm just placing them on top of a hot griddle to start cooking them. Keep the heat on the medium to high and after three to four minutes you can start turning them around. You will see that uh, they're beginning to cook quite nicely and changing in color. Make sure that you stay on top of aubergines because they can burn quite easily, so try and stay close by. Another three to four minutes and the aubergines are cooked um, and this is done. For example, you can see that it's translucent and uh, nice and soft, so I can take it out. So the aubergines are done and now I'm now moving on to the courgette and I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the aubergine. Uh, I will be slicing it into one centimeter slices as well. Likewise, I will be placing them on the hot griddle where I cook the aubergines. In the meantime, while my courgette is cooking, I'm going to be dealing with the aubergines and I'm going to be cutting them lengthwise this time into long little strips. And just like the aubergines, within uh, three minutes they are ready to be turned around and you will see that you get these lovely marks uh, if you're using a griddle, but also you can use a normal frying pan of course. So another three minutes and they'll be ready as well. And now that my courgettes are also cooked, I'm giving them exactly the same treatment I gave to the aubergines, so cutting them into long strips, but as they are quite long, in this particular case, I'll chop them in half as well, like that. Large glove of garlic in a garlic crusher and uh, crush away so that uh, everything uh, get covered in garlic in here. And of course you can always uh, chop the garlic very very fine with a knife should you not have a garlic crusher. And also add a pinch of salt, some pepper and a drizzle of olive oil. I mix everything together so that uh, the garlic and the oil and the salt and the pepper is uh, absorbed by the aubergines and by the courgettes. And I'm going to leave this uh, for a few minutes, maybe five to ten minutes to marinate. My water is boiling, I'm adding a little salt and my pasta goes in. I'm doing pennetta today, you can use any pasta. And I'm now moving on to the pesto, so another clove of garlic and I'm going to be adding half of my aubergines and half of my courgette in, uh, in a jug and I'm pinching a couple of uh, pasta water which has got nice uh, starches uh, with it and I'm uh, going to be adding it to my vegetables and a tiny little amount of additional salt and I'll blend everything together using a hand blender while everything is still nice and thick I'm going to be adding a handful of uh, almonds that's it, job done! Everything is ready now. I did not add the almonds at the beginning because I want them to be left uh, quite big, otherwise they would have been too fine. Oops! <laughs> well, like this I would be able to get the crunchiness from the almonds. I'm now having a handful of um, cherry tomatoes which uh, will be added as well to my base. So back on the hob on a separate pan I'm going to be adding a little olive oil and add my cherry tomatoes immediately followed by my pesto. My pasta is also ready, it's nice and al dente and I will be adding it straight to the pan with uh, the rest of my ingredients. And also carry some of the water with you, it's nice and starchy and they will give uh, the pesto a nice uh, creamy consistency. And immediately after the pasta you can add the rest of your vegetables. And mix it all together smell coming up is absolutely amazing. <laughs> no more than a minute and it can come off the heat as uh, the pasta was already al dente. This is more about getting uh, all of the lovely ingredients uh, mixed with the pasta while it's still finished cooking. And only once it's all cooked add a little parsley, maybe more than a little. And I'm gonna be serving myself a nice little portion ensuring that I pick up some uh, whole vegetables as well and some tomatoes. One uh, final drizzle of olive oil. I also highly recommend uh, some parmesan cheese or pecorino cheese on top uh, which uh, will go incredibly well with the dish. And of course a compulsory taste. <laughs> mm. 
it's like a miracle. <laughs> Deliciosa, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Try it, honestly, you will be amazed. <laughs> ciao, ciao, see you later, bye.